There we go. Black powder. Huh. Blackish powder. <laughs> Strike. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. Bull's blood. Check. I once heard that a bull's blood is supposed to revive your spirits. Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. I think it's my turn now. Wrong! You'll be <coughs> You'll be after the next. It's Wenzel's turn before that. But Wenzel isn't even here. That's why it isn't your turn yet! Oh yeah, that's so typical. I mean, even when he's not around, Wenzel's always holding me back. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Uh, do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich with energy? Mm. Very often we find batteries in the junk. Those are always filled with some kind of liquid. 
We call it battery soda because it's got that fizz when it touches the tongue. Is that what you mean? Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. A pinch of black powder. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. really necessary <laughs> the seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette a puppet is pirouetting in the corner and on the driver's sign it says sugar puff <laughs> stupid name Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh... Rufus? Exactly. About my key again. Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Sugarpuff. Sugarpuff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugarpuff. But I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. I want the battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> That's almost too convenient. Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah! Ow! Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. How cute. He's talking in his sleep. Look what I brought you. Another dead bird? It's not dead. It's just resting. That's what you said about the pigeon. They call it cryogenic sleep. It was a time travel experiment. In my refrigerator? Well, where else would it be cold enough? There's not much room in your heart, after all. No more dead animals. All right. I'll go and wake him up. You do that somewhere else.
Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. About the powder. Tell me. I have some blackish powder. Good. But this isn't black powder, right? Mm, no. I'm just saying because that would be extremely dangerous and... No, no. I got it. Really. This is just powder which happens to be black in color. Just like the recipe says. Good. I have stimulants. That's good. Did Dr. Gizmo give you some? Well, not exactly, but he had some, standing around unprotected in a tightly locked medicine cabinet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. If you say so. I found a hot bean. That's a chili pepper. Yes, but it's almost bean-shaped. See, don't, don't you see? It's hot, and the only fruit around. Close enough, I guess. Don't worry, I'll manage. Hurry up! I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew! I'll be off then, getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. Stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough that I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, ouch! Hey! Um, <laughs> um... Ouch, look at that. Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure. That is to say, wait a minute, you dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please, I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change.
That's a miniature version of my free-floating crane. I wonder what happened to the original. I never did find that cow. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Poor Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Wenzel? I'm down here. Come quick. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water. Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment the moment of triumph! Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kulvac one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvac. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her, and I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, um... Next stop, number 63, please. Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. I already <coughs> called your number, didn't I? Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Low tech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. Be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, 
He was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. And that's a lie. Oh, yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. You'll be surprised, Low Tech. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> You don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. Yeah, well, at least I'm not sleeping in the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Huh. If only your father were here to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. Oh, yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock, too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. Ouch. I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? but I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. No, that's it. Well, then just beat it! I need to get to the assembly hall. There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. S O L O N G Y O U F. U-C-K... E... Damn! Where was I? I'd rather keep it. Tony doesn't have any glasses left since Wenzel broke them all. Why does he have to lurk in my firing line anyway? It doesn't have to. Ha! I once heard that a bull's blood is supposed to revive your spirits. An energy rich liquid. He's gone. Well, never mind. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Oh, this could have been my idea. A gadget that oh, this could have this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. 
This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm sure Dad wanted to see that I'm the only one who could get this far in getting at his great secret, his legacy. His liquor cabinet. The water still needs that little extra boost of energy. I already have the special water, at least. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> We'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Focus, Rufus. She can still help you with your experiments once she's awake. Stimulant. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. I have the powder already. Into the tank you go. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso verse. Holy smoke. <laughs> More pressure! More pressure! Okay, uh, okay.
Are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch! Whew. I think this brew is gonna do the job. Wakey, wakey! See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. Hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow. So he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, it's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out. Get out! Ugh. Ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? Ah! Ha! <laughs> ha! Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! Ah! Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. <laughs> 